And welcome back to The Restaurant Show. Right now, I'm honored to be joined by Stephen from The Egg and I. Stephen, thanks for coming in today. Wonderful, thank you very much. I appreciate your invitation. And The Egg and I has a spectacular deal going on right now with gift cards. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely, I don't know if you can see this very well, but through, um, because of um, Mother's Day coming up, mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have a offer for if you purchase $50 worth of gift cards from us, We'll give you a $10 gift certificate. Here's a couple of our cards. So basically just 10 free dollars of food at the A&I. Right, Five well, 50. it's kind of like 20% off. Yeah, that's fantastic. This is one of our little presentation envelopes there we can give you too. So you can give it away as a gift, make it's it look absolutely. really nice and come out great? Mm -hmm. Wow, that is very, very fascinating. As you mentioned, Eastern Mother's Day are coming up. Uh, special hours for that? Any special things going on at the A&I? Um, well, for both Easter and Mother's Day, we're open on our normal hours. A lot mm -hmm. of places open at different times. Um, we feel breakfast is a really well-served segment for mothers. Mm -hmm. um, and Easter, of course, is a great breakfast day. Great. So our normal hours six a.m. or 7 a.m. till 2.30 p.m. And I forgot to show you the gift certificates so that you can the, get. That's the $10 that you're going to That's gonna the $10 certificate. Uh, it has a very limited time. Okay. Um, it's only from June 22 through August 30th that you have to redeem it. You can't redeem it the same day you buy it. You have to wait until the... the so all the more reason yeah. to come back and eat again. It's Absolutely. Great. And there's, the menu's so big, there's plenty of for you to eat there too. Mm -hmm. So we mentioned Easter and Mother's Day, same hours. Yes. But uh, the good news is I want to take my mom out. I can call, get a reservation maybe? Sure, yes. We take res Normally we don't take reservations for small groups. Mm -hmm. But on those two days, there are so many smaller groups going out, yeah. and there is just a sheer volume of people to make everything run smoother. We would actually prefer that you give us well, a reservation. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So keep that in mind. That's a great place to take Mama for Mother's Day. Better get this um, thing going. <laughs> yeah. Very excited for the dish you're going to be making us. It is a bacon cheddar waffle. Yes. Now, this one actually has mild cheddar and bacon baked right into it. Oh, my goodness. There's nothing to dislike in this waffle. <laughs> Bacon, cheddar, and waffle are three great things on their own. Absolutely. Now, let's see here, there we go. It's gonna be a little messy, unfortunately, because we're adding quite a bit of stuff. Oh, good. look at that. See, is this is not some uh, ingredients I would really commonly think would go together that good. You know, <laughs> you go with waffle, you generally got Maybe some butter and syrup, and then that'll be your breakfast. But this is taking it to a whole nother level. You can hear the sizzle already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, part, forgive me, I forgot my gloves today. Normally, I would be wearing gloves doing this. Of course. I, I feel very guilty about that. <laughs> it sounds so good, I'm still going to try it. <laughs> so this is going to go for about two and a half minutes. Okay. So uh, with that, um, I've been out there a couple times, mm -hmm. and what you hear is you guys are just, I've never gone by when you guys are not open. Are you guys ever closed or is the egg and I just pumping breakfast out every day? It really feels that way to me, but yeah, we do close two days a year. They're okay. great days for uh, my staff to have off, spend some time with family. That would be Christmas Day and Thanksgiving. Well, Thanksgiving, you're not really going to be eating breakfast anyway. <laughs> no, well, hopefully not because you get a feast coming at lunch and maybe again at dinner. Mm -hmm. and everybody's opening presents on Christmas. Of course. So good time to, you know, maybe not go out for breakfast, but spend that time with your family. Gives your employees a chance to do the same, which is always important. Oh, yeah. Keeps them upbeat and working. Well, I got to, you know, it, it's... They're not very nice to have them make them work all the time. <laughs> not all the time. Somebody needs some time to themselves. And you do have a great staff out there too. Very polite, know what they're doing. Oh, that's fantastic. Just a fantastic staff that's out there with the egg and I. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, put all the ingredients together and we're letting it sit for, what would you say, about two and a half minutes? Sure, we got a little more than a minute to go here. Mm -hmm. So it sits in there for two and a half minutes and you put the cheddar and the bacon right in there. Mm -hmm. And when it comes out, we're going to garnish it with a little bit more bacon, some powdered sugar, and some butter, and some syrup. Oh my goodness. Add some hot chocolate if you want to try some. Some hot chocolate, too. And uh, with that, we were talking a little bit before, that's not just hot chocolate. You guys have, what was it, six different varieties? We have, yeah. Besides plain hot chocolate, we do flavors. We have caramel, peppermint, hazelnut, vanilla, cherry, and gingerbread cookie. Gingerbread cookie. That's my favorite one. Oh my, <laughs> the cherry sounds really good, too. And so is that, um, you know, just 
hot chocolate that you know you stick a cherry in or something like that or <laughs> is there other flavors that go into something like that right well we have um flavors that we add to it mm -hmm. um, and we do garnish like we'll garnish with a cherry we'll garnish with uh, crushed peppermint whatever happens to be appropriate to that particular drink so just like everything there's nice presentation that goes along with that oh, as yeah. well we try very much and of course you gotta have whipped cream on hot chocolate no, that's a go-to. Gotta have whipped cream. So I already made this hot chocolate. All I'm gonna do is add some flavor to it. I'm gonna, okay. It's gonna do some garnish here. So the flavor was what you added there at the bottom. Yep. And then with the hot cocoa, it probably all mixes itself together. It has a nice flavor to it. Yes, it does. Okay. So this is done, but it can stand just a tiny bit. Yep. There we go. Load it up with whipped cream <laughs> and some garnish. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Oops. Well, that's got a lot. Ground up <laughs> peppermint candy, like candy cane or this something? This is actual like that? ground up um, peppermint candy. Wow. So here we go. It looks just beautiful. You can't really see it on this one, but our name is actually in that waffle. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is going to be kind of rough because I didn't bring my gloves, and it's going to be a little warm. There we go. I'm going to clean it up a little bit here. I feel so just, guilty not just having Just callous hands, taking it out like a champ. Oh, you wouldn't believe <laughs> how used to the heat you get in the kitchen. Yeah, you can see that right on there, the Egg and I logo right on top. Mm -hmm. Oops, let's put a little butter on this one. So then on top of the bacon at cheddar waffle, we're going to have butter, which is, of course, got that. powdered sugar. A little bit of powdered sugar. A little bit of powdered sugar. <laughs> And of course syrup. Syrup. You can add your own syrup in the restaurant. We're gonna put it on here just. I like everything. you doing it, Steven. Wow. There we are. Fantastic. The bacon at cheddar waffle and the peppermint hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. There you have it. The egg and I, some great things going on. Keep in mind, by $50, you also get a $10 voucher for the restaurant as well. Stephen, thanks for joining us here today. Thank you, too. You're very welcome. We'll be right back with more of the restaurant show after this.